If I just want the happiness, if I broke now my business, I'm a shy you go right. Well, that's Phil. Well, that's Phil, yeah, but this is Michael. He put together that record. He's the producer. He's in the studio here with us. I think you need more cameras, more lights, action <sighs> cameras, and all Thank of that on you because you, you I, I, want, I want producers out there. Yeah. But how does it feel to be, well, <laughs> the biggest pro producer around currently? It feels great, actually. Because, uh, I don't know, I'm just, I'm new to the game. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been producing for a while, but I'm new to, like, the limelight mm -hmm. game. So it's just, it just feels amazing to me. So what has that brought to you since people have um, gotten, uh, caught the uh, um, note that you are the producer of that track? Oh, a lot of things, actually. There are a couple of people have been texting for a while. Big artists, by the way. Uh -huh. I've been texting for a while and didn't reply. All of a sudden, just... Hey, what's up? Where you at? Want to link up? Wanna... Let's I make a I've got a theory here. And I think there's a specific reason why that track was a very big hit. And it's something that um, uh, comes from something called stadium music. Yeah. I've always thought that once you have a group of people singing, you are forced to want to join in. Join in, yeah. <laughs> was that the trick that you used? Yes. Aha! Actually... See, it kind of is like keg music. Yeah. How did you come about that kind of an idea? Okay, it was Phil's idea, by the way. Okay. It was like, he wants something, he wants people to like sing along and he wants multiple people to like sing. Mm -hmm. But we we're just two in the studio at that time. So it was like, okay, he has an idea to go about that. And I was like, okay, I just hit the record button and he started singing over and over. And I was like, hey, come here. Then he placed the mic in the middle and I was like, and everybody joins in. Just so was. No, just the two of you. Just the two of us just singing. So it's your voice on there? Yeah, it is. Actually, my voice is like <laughs> very, very. <laughs> Like it's in your face. Wow. Kind of, yeah. Very interesting because from then on, it's yeah. caught on every other musician's doing something similar. Yeah. If you want us to start counting, let's start counting. Be very honest. I know. Burner Boy did it. Yep. Uh, in uh, um, Last Last. It yeah. was in Last Last. Uh, who else? Uh, Palazzo. You've got it in Palazzo. That's Palazzo uh, 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 Ashake. Yeah. Um, give me another one. Somebody help me out. Anybody? Uh, Which one? Which one? Um, this this um, adults hood song. Adult hood and scam. That's uh, a yeah. um, lady. Uh, her name is Maladi. Yeah, um, yeah. So many people are doing the same thing now. Yeah. What do you have going on for you since after that? What are we looking forward to? Oh, a lot. I've been working with artists basically. Like a lot of artists. Like I had Whiskey Engineer text me to send a couple of beats. I don't know if they used it. Wow. Or, well, so you're catching the eye of big artists Yeah, now. we're big artists. Actually. Is that translating into big box? Hopefully. Who do you want to work with in the nearest future on your record? Um, I'm just, I'm going to go big. I'm looking to work with like, likes of Whiskey, definitely. Mm, nice, of course. Um, David, um, though I'm a step closer to working with David. Fantastic, you heard it first here. And Whiskey too. Nice.